every day, brings along with it, new challenges, and unexpected issues. But when we commit our every day to God, He will take care of us. Do not start your day without the worker's prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Financial curses, yes, this is what I want to address today. Many people, they have been victims of curses, curses that has been affecting their finances. The curse of unemployment, the curse of losses, the curse of debt, the curse of failure, the curse of frustrations, the curse of disappointments, the curse of deceit. Because many, they have been deceived by their partner. Maybe have been disappointed with the supplier. Many have been in pursuit of employment for a very long time. But always, it feels like there is a shut door that never seems to open. No matter what one does, the door remains shut. The curse of not having a house, the curse of not being able to provide for the family. The curse of having a hole in the pocket because no matter how much comes into your hands, it feels like it's never enough. The curse of not being ever satisfied. These curses must be broken. And this is what I want to bring to your attention. Because there is a way out for you to be released from these curses. There is a way out for you to free yourself from these curses and the way is to have a pact with God. I want to show you how the pact works and how you can be free from these curses. Watch. What's your name? Marilyn. Miss Marilyn, tell us what did God do for you through the pact with the word? Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor, what happened? A friend of mine had borrowed some money for me over 20 years. Oh, no, no. Let me understand it well. A friend of yours requested you financial assistance and promised to pay you back. Yes, Pastor. And it was 20 days ago. No, 20 years. Not 20 years. 20 years. My Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> to wait years. What happened? And they had migrated. And every time they come down on holidays, I keep asking nobody money. I would pay you, I would pay you. 20 years. 20 years. And he never paid me. Coming down, going back sometime, he hiding and all. <laughs> and people telling me that he's here. And Wednesday, it was Wednesday, last week, Wednesday gone, I got a phone call. And I say, a missed call. So I say, a missed call from the States. So I did ring back the phone. When I ring back, he answered. I didn't even remember the voice. I asked, who is this? He said, who is this? Okay, and then I catch the voice. So I say, yes, what can I do for you? I just call it to tell you, I'm sending the money in your U.S. account for you. And I went on Tuesday, and I got the money passed uh, after 20 years. But after 20 years, it is kind of, it's like penny now. Is it penny? Huh? It's, it's quite a, a lot. It's quite a lot. Thousands. It's thousands. Yes. So he has paid you with interest. Y yes, Pastor. And he also told me that by the 12th of this month, he would send some more for me interest. Amen, people. 20 years. A strong hand clap to God. Misery is one of the worst evil spirits in the world. Bad living conditions, failure in business, not knowing where your next meal will come from, having a broken family. All of those things are signs of misery. Misery has been affecting people's lives for centuries, since the beginning of time. Not everyone is ready to overcome misery. Some people turn to drugs, others turn to the streets, and others are just lost trying to find an escape. But instead, 
they just make their situation much worse, allowing misery to be in more control of their lives. Once misery enters a person's life, it doesn't matter where that person goes. If they decide to move to the most wonderful place on earth, misery will still be in that person's life. If something is not done, you could live in misery for the rest of your life. How much longer are you going to live in misery? My name is Sandro. I was waiting two years to receive my NIS, but I had a little run around to, to do my, um, to receive the money. So I was struggling a little while until I went to church and the pastor told me to do a chain of prayer. And I did a chain of prayer, a persevere. I went every Monday and I did a chain of prayer. And when I did a chain of prayer, they call and say, Sandra, your check ready. And I went and I collect it. And I say that I thank God for whatever I got because through a chain of prayer, I receive what I have. And I want to tell people to do the chain of prayer and it works. Don't give up. Are you experiencing challenges and problems in your finances? Losses? Failures? Debts? Blockages? Unemployment? Business not doing well? Low income? Unable to provide for your family. Frustrated. Depressed due to your finances. Give us a call, text or WhatsApp us now. 3899880 or 709-8062. We are ready to help you. So my dear friend, this curse has to come to an end in your life. This financial curse has to be broken. On Monday 22nd, this coming Monday, we are going to have the day to break all the financial curses. The day to break all the financial curses. The curse of debt, the curse of unemployment, the curse of failure, the curse of deceit, the curse of frustration, the curse of deception, disappointment, the curse of not being successful in anything that you aim to do, you attempt doing. All these curses that has been haunting you financially will be broken. We are going to have this powerful outcry on Monday 22nd at 6 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, most especially 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I am summoning you to leave the place where you dwell, your house, your village, your town, your suburb, all around Trinidad and Tobago, and be at this address, number 40, South Key, Port of Spain, our national headquarters, the only venue that the strong nation takes place in Trinidad and Tobago. You are going to join us. You are going to enter into a pact with God. You are going to receive the Holy Bible of the pact with God. And you will be free from this curse that has been troubling you, disturbing you greatly. Because enough is enough. The time for you to prosper has come. It's now our moment of prayer, the workers' prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pray on behalf of all those who have been a victim of financial curses. People, my Father, who seem never to succeed. People who feel as if every door is shut. People who feel as if there is a wall around them preventing them to progress in life, to move forward. 
I call on you, my God, and I pray that right now, wherever this person may be, that you may provide this person a way out of this critical situation. Give this person the necessary strength. Give this person, my Father, the boldness. Give this person the courage to be with us this Monday in our national headquarters in order my father to be released from this spirit of curses that has been troubling disturbing this person tremendously financially because it's time for this person to prosper enough of misery enough of poverty enough of losses enough my god of defeat enough of debt enough of requesting help from others my father our provision comes from you your word says that you gave us the assurance that you would help us once we enter into a pact with you. So this is what has to happen. So I pray, bless your people who now pray with me, wherever they are. Remove this burden from upon their shoulders right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh Father, bless Trinidad and Tobago. The president, the prime minister, the ministers, the member of parliament, bless the governors, the counselors, bless all those in authority. The economy of our nation, bring healing upon our land. My God, may your light shine upon our people, every citizen and immigrant, the private and the public sector. I surrender all to you. My God, I consecrate this coming Monday to you, the 22nd the day to break all financial curses because it will be broken indeed with a blessing I bless those who pray with me I bless Trinidad and Tobago in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and those who agree and believe say Amen my dear friend you are blessed oh yes you are blessed you are going to see what you never saw God has begun working as from this moment. Prepare yourself. I would like you to write down on a piece of paper every problem that you are experiencing in your financial life. Every challenge that you are facing in your financial life. And you are going to bring it to our national headquarters this Monday. You are going to place it on the altar and we are going to cry out on your behalf. Because if there is one who can release you from these curses, financially speaking, God is the one. And the pact with God is the key. See why you have to enter into a pact with God. And get ready, because the day of your blessing is coming. Monday 22nd, the day to break all financial curses. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. Seven steps to change your financial life in this year 2021. The first step is you must dream big. Yes, dream big. The second step is you must focus. Focus. The third step is you must persist. The fourth step is you must resist. The fifth step is you must pursue. The sixth step is you must believe. And the seventh step is you must have a pact with God. If you follow these seven steps, 2021 will be the year that God will move his hands towards you and will make all your dreams all your goals, all your targets to be achieved, to become reality. Your finances will no longer be the same because the seven steps, once you apply your strength into it, will change your life.